I will be testing this Coleman Evanston 6 person tent not only against light rain, moderate rain, but heavy rainfall as well. Before the rain test, I checked all the seams and found that most of them have not been seam taped. Some of these seams are inverted, like this green tent fabric to buff up flooring seam, this vertical seam, and this white to green tent fabric seam. This white to green fabric seam is protected by the screen room, so it wasn't inverted. The window is protected by the rainfly, so not inverted, and the door is also protected by the screen room, so not inverted as well. The only seams that were taped were the seams on the rainfly. One more great feature is that there's bathtub flooring that extends up to about 7 inches, which will be helpful in light flooding. It rained very lightly when I was using this Evanston 6 person tent and it looked like this. It was just a passing shower and after the rain stopped about 15 minutes later, I found that there were no leaks inside the Evanston tent and the tent was still dry. Also, I was able to leave the windows open and the mesh of the windows were still dry in this light rain. I also found the screen room super useful because there's this little bit of rainfly protection at the top of the screen room. This meant that I could leave my door completely open in light rain and it didn't get wet at all. However, the flooring of the screen room itself still got wet because there isn't enough rainfly to cover the entire screen room. I also put this Evanston 6 person tent through a moderate rain test which happened the next day. It rained for about 2 hours and here's what I found. First, because of the screen room, I could leave this door and the window beside it completely open and no water got into the tent. Both the green and white tent fabric was still dry and even the seam connecting the bathtub flooring to the green tent fabric was dry as well. Second, on this wall here, the window mesh was still dry even after 2 hours of moderate rain. Also, the tent fabric was all completely dry, but I found quite a bit of leaking from the corner. The seam connecting the bathtub flooring to the green fabric was also leaking slightly, but it's just a few drops of water. Third, on this wall here, the green fabric was dry, the mesh wall was also dry, but the seam of the bathtub flooring was very slightly damp. And fourth, the screen room got completely wet because there's hardly any rainfly here. Also, there's quite a big gap at the edge of the screen room which let in quite a big puddle of water. It was a little bit of a pain to clean out after, honestly. I wanted to also test for heavy rain, so I used this water hose on the Evanston tent and concentrated the rainfall here. Only this wall of the tent had heavy rain and the others did not. Even though the rainfly did quite a good job of protecting the window mesh from the heavy rain, the bottom of the mesh still got wet. The top was still fine though, so you could crack it open a bit. I noticed that water started seeping in through the seam between the green tent fabric and the bathtub flooring at about 30 minutes in. It's just a few drops of water but the seam is pretty much soaked. The fabric around the tent was still dry though. Overall, I feel that the Coleman Evanston 6 person tent did pretty well in the rain test. I didn't add any additional waterproofing myself but it still held up through light rain, more than an hour of moderate rain and up to 30 minutes of heavy rain with no leaks at all. If you need it to last for longer, I highly recommend at least sealing the bathtub flooring seam here. One more thing that I really liked was having quite a bit of ventilation through all the rain tests from not just this mesh wall but also from the windows and from the door. For a full review on this Coleman Evanston 6 person tent, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.